CloudShare is pleased to introduce our integration with Zapier, helping you automate your workflows to make great things happen. Have you ever thought about all the different apps and tools you use every day in our hyper-digital and connected world? Each one has its purpose and each one does its job, but wouldn't it be great if you could use them together with CloudShare to create automatic and seamless chains of events? If a Salesforce lead could be created whenever a prospect accepts a CloudShare invitation to view your demo. If you could receive an email when someone extends one of your environments. If your training calendar could be updated whenever a new class is scheduled. Well, that's exactly what Zapier does. You link your apps together by creating automated workflows, called Zaps, to make your daily work easier and you more efficient. It's super simple to get started with CloudShare and Zapier. From the Workflows tab in CloudShare, just click Get Started. It's important that this is the button you use the first time. After you've created your Zapier account, use the Go to Zapier button below. When you arrive at the Zapier website, click Accept Invite and go to Dashboard. Now you'll be prompted to log into Zapier or to sign up for a new account. It's quick and free to create a new Zapier account. Just click Sign Up Now, fill in a few details, and choose your password right here. Click the Sign Up button and you've got a Zapier account. At the top of your screen, you'll see that you've started a trial. No worries though, after your trial is over, you'll be automatically switched to Zapier's free plan. One thing to watch out for as you go on from here. Notice that we've been brought back to the Accept Invite page. And even though we've clicked it once before, we need to click the Accept Invite button again to ensure that we'll see CloudShare in the list of available apps. So now you've arrived at your Zapier dashboard. Once you've started creating Zaps, this is where they'll appear. Before you jump right in and start making Zaps, one more thing you might want to do is to connect accounts for the different apps you'll want to use. No problem if you can't think of them all right now. You can always add an account later, even as you're getting ready to use it for the first time in a Zap. But we do know for sure you'll be using your CloudShare account, so let's go ahead and set it up. Click on the drop-down arrow next to your name, then select Connected Accounts. Do a quick search for CloudShare, log in if you're prompted to, then click Allow Access. As soon as you do, you'll see the account appear in Zapier. If you want to make it easier to recognize, just click the pencil icon and give it a familiar name. Go ahead and test it, and there you go. It's exactly the same process for any other apps you might want to connect with Zapier. Once you've connected accounts for your various apps, all you've got to do is start making your first Zap. It takes just minutes, so click Make a Zap and you're on your way. Be sure to check out several examples of Nifty Zaps, along with detailed videos of how to create them, right on the Workflows tab in CloudShare. And keep in mind that these examples just scratch the surface. Explore and experiment a little in Zapier and discover all the amazing zaps you can create. So now it's your turn. Just click Get Started and start making great things happen in a zap.